Hey there, it's Don Krikito back again, this time with a little testing data and some nice info on the rows and buffing afterwards. Here's a basic lightning spear. Now supposedly the morning's ring adds 10% to your spell power, uh, but through testing I'd say it's more like about 15 and a half. Now as for the sun's firstborn, it's supposed to add 20%. But it actually adds more like 25 and a half to 26. And the clutch ring, which is the reason I had to do test this in PvP, adds only 8%. So not 7 and a half, but still pretty terrible. Still worth it for a damage gouge. Next, we put ourselves into hyper mode with just the Marion blade. Because initially, I thought maybe these rings scaled. That hypothesis, however, was incorrect. They are multiplicative and post-calculation. All of them very consistently add 15 and a half, 26, and 8 respectively. Adding in a tear stone ring did nothing it multiplied it by exactly 20% also. So all the way up and down the line they remain consistent on damage. All the way up the clutch ring remains consistently the worst for PvP also. Although it does also scale elemental damage if you have it. So that's a plus. Alright just to make sure that it's there's absolutely no scaling going on. Let's put in some extra multipliers here and compare the morning's ring with the clutch ring. Nope, still around 15 and a half to 16 and 8. As an idea of how well your resistances work, you take 14% more damage with the lightest armor than you do with the heaviest. Once again, that stays consistent all the way up the line, as the Ryan and the Red Tear Stone are both just multipliers of 20%. So none of this stuff was actually pre-calculation like I thought. Now that one, now that served as a good baseline. Now let's see what it compares to whipping ourselves and trying the same thing again. I should note I found a slightly more efficient method to buff coming up after this. Now supposedly it's only supposed to add 20%, but it actually adds about 25.5 to 26% from what I've experienced. And again, going up the damage line with the Marion affects nothing. It's still about 25.5 to 26%, depending on rounding errors. So yay! It's even better than we thought. Good news, everybody. This buff is awesome. And now the quickest method I've found into hyper mode. After casting tears, de-equip the mimic head once again. Swap to lightning clutch from dust crown. De-equip the rose. Eat a grass. Switch to the Marion. You're done. This is a method that involves whipping yourself first. Potentially, you could peg somebody with the lightning spear if they started bearing down at you at this point, but they tend to dodge them if they're coming right at you and fully focused on you. So that's not a very effective method. Now, when you die and respawn, you may not want to go through quite all that mess. Here's a way to do it where at least you don't got to swap to the dust crown ring. Basically, as long as you switch to the mimic head as you're coming up, and wait until after you're done whipping yourself and casting to take it back off, you should be right at about 80 HP, sometimes a little bit less. This method is for invasions. In this case, you're going to want to cast Sacred Oath with it, because every little bit of extra damage helps, but that's a little bit of extra kills that you could be getting with Sunlight Spear in the arena, so it's not really worth it there. At the same time, though, the previous methods took about 16 seconds. This one takes about 22. That is not too shabby. Now you do have to be careful though. 
if you go through the entire process of whipping yourself and casting the spell while still having the dust crown ring on, this happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Any suggestions for other stuff to test, please say so in the comments.